Hello and welcome to a moonlit Kenilworth. I forgot to do the start of the best assembly when I was in school because I've been so busy this week working in year three. So let's find out who the teachers have picked to be this week's best learner. Miss Baron Skyte and I are really excited to tell you who our best learner is this week. Gaurav Deep has worked so hard to be the best he can be. He has really turned his behaviour around and is showing so much more determination towards every subject. We are particularly impressed with how much care he is putting into his maths work. Gurudeep tries really hard to make sure that he answers every question correct before he moves on. Well done, Gurudeep. Keep up the hard work. We are very proud of you. This week in 5G, we are so proud to award Ava with our best learner. Ava is so dedicated to her learning all the time. She comes in with a great big smile on her face every day. She's ready for learning with all the tools and equipment she needs, and she's so focused. Sometimes she finds her learning a little bit tricky, but she never gives up. She battles on and she asks for help when she needs it. And this is a fantastic tool because it shows in her work that she's making good progress with all of these skills. Ava also produces really good quality work. She works so hard to make sure that she does the very best she can. In her writing, we have seen some lovely sentences, fantastic vocabulary coming through. She's taking on all the skills that she's learning and she's trying to apply them at every opportunity. Her maths is coming on leaps and bounds and she's working so hard in every aspect. We're really proud of you, Ava. Keep up the good work. Hi everyone, this week in One LS, I have chosen Gabriella for best learner this week. This is because she's been trying extremely hard with her writing and has blew me away with her subtraction work. She's come back after Easter with a very positive attitude to her learning and I've been extremely proud of her. So big well done and keep up the hard work Gabriella. In One MS this week, Miss Skeffington has chosen Naman for best award. Naman has returned after the Easter break with a much improved attitude towards all of his learning. He is now showing that he can carefully concentrate for a longer period of time on the carpet and he's been much more engaged and ready to participate in group discussions and offer sensible, relevant ideas showing that he's been actively listening. So big well done to you Naman, keep up the hard work. This week in 1G, Miss George has chosen Abigail as best learner this week. She has tried so hard in bath, both maths and phonics to work independently. Sometimes she's found the work a little bit tricky, but she's persevered and carried on and listened to both Miss George and Mrs. Sambi when they helped her. So fantastic work, Abigail. Keep it up. Well done, all of you. Each week, the teachers say how hard it is to pick just one winner. And as I've been working in 3C this week, I realised it's really hard, so I picked two winners. The first person was recommended to me by Miss Herezo, and that's Ollie. He's been working really hard in English and Maths all week, really concentrating on his work, becoming more independent, and trying to do those challenges on his own. Keep up the excellent work, Ollie. It's lovely to see. The second person in 3C that I'm giving an award to is Manha. She's painted a beautiful watercolour picture related to the Iceland and the book we're doing in English and has also come up with some super sentences. Keep up the good work, both of you. Well done. This week, Miss Smith has picked Arman for the best learner. He always comes into school with a smile on his face. He tries his best in everything he does and is kind to everyone, the adults and the children in school. He's been a pleasure to have in 3S. Well done, Arman. This week, 
Miss Arnott has picked Richmond in 3A to get the best certificate for his super work outside of school. He's been trying very hard with his homework and has even been writing some short stories. Richmond has been really trying hard to improve his English skills and has been very patient with Miss Arnott as she attempts to speak French and Italian to him. Well done, Richmond. Keep up the hard work. This week, Morning Nursery Certificate goes to Ayana. She has been so busy with her learning, independently choosing lots of activities all around nursery, learning lots of different skills. This week she's been making a park, painting, and we've been learning about teeth. She's been learning how to clean teeth with toothpaste. She's been counting teeth counting them carefully one to one and she's been talking about how we brush our teeth and knows how to keep them clean and why it's important. She's also been trying really hard to write the first letter of her name. She's been practicing it on the whiteboard and with the toothbrush and toothpaste. Well done Ayana, we're really proud of you. Well done to the best learner for afternoon nursery this week, who is Harris. He has settled in after being away from nursery for many weeks and has been busy learning in all of the areas. He's been able to choose his own activities independently and we are so proud of how happy and enthusiastic he has been. Well done, Harris. We are so happy to have you back with us. Well done. Thank you for watching this week's Best Assembly. Keep up the hard work and maybe you can be one of our best learners next week.